What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA SAG. And on today's video guys, I will remind you about the loophole that authorities use in order to hide the information in regards to short positions. And this loophole allows them uh, to uh, honestly responds to all the questions uh, in the court uh, under the oath. Then I will show you a very brave tweet uh, from one of our community members uh, in regards uh, to his own uh, case uh, and in regards uh, to the comparison with other cases that happened uh, just a couple of years ago. Then I will show you how we can uh, shut the wrongdoers' mouths up uh, with just one simple action and uh, we have uh, an evidence uh, that it is extremely useful tool. Then I will show you how important uh, the consistent uh, movement towards uh, the resolution and uh, at the very end of this video I will share my personal story. That is why guys I highly encourage you to watch this video till the very end because it is very important for me personally. So. And before we dive deep into all of this, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and hit the like button for me. I am still not uh, at my best, but uh, I will uh, do my best in order to uh, make uh, this type of videos, in order to help MMTLP community to solve this problem. That is why, in exchange, I ask you for just one thing. Hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and for me personally. So, and let's start with the news itself. We are on RareDD's official Twitter account and he published this uh, tweet uh, just uh, yesterday and uh, he explains the loophole that uh, authorities use uh, in order to uh, hide the information uh, in regards to naked short positions. So, uh, RareDD wrote, while you are required to report your short interest, there is a loophole that allows you to avoid doing so if those positions are moved overseas. FINRA and the SEC knows that this loophole exists, but not caring to close this loophole, it shows that they are not really here to protect investors. And guys, this loophole, let me show you this uh, tweet, uh, uh, this screenshot that was published also by RareDD in his uh, yesterday's tweet, and uh, this is the price action uh, and uh, the MMTLP historical data. Uh, back uh, in uh, December of 2022. And let me go to this. Observe the increase in volume and price uh, on December the 6th when FINRA posted the first MTLP corporate action. On December the 8th, the price uh, dropped approximately 15% in pre market, on about 7,000 uh, in volume. If uh, nobody knew about the common halt, why would they be selling on December the 8th? And let me show you that uh, right here you can see that uh, the price uh, of uh, MMTLP on December the 6th was at roughly $8.18 with the average volume of five, uh, uh, roughly $5 million. But before they published this corporate action, and as you can see, uh, they published it uh, first corporate action on December the 6th, before this uh, the volume was lower than 2 million shares, significantly lower I would say. But the price uh, was at uh, quite similar levels, uh, from uh, $7 all the way up uh, to $8.2. But then, right before the U3 halt, uh, the price drastically dropped to $2.9, uh, with the highly increasing volume to 13.71 million shares. And guys, uh, this is nothing else uh, but uh, the major uh, sell-off uh, from the wrongdoers uh, because uh, they uh, shorted the stock right before the U3 halt. In my opinion, they knew first of all about the loophole, how they can hide their position. Then they knew about the U3 halt uh, and they knew that uh, their short position uh, will be untouchable uh, on the privately uh, held company. And this illegal activity, and I can repeat, this illegal activity lead to these uh, ridiculous numbers. We are on official FINRA.org website, and uh, this is uh, the supplemental FAQ, MTLP Corporate Action and Trading Halt, that was published on November the 6th uh, of last year. And let me quote to this part of this paragraph. Based on FINRA's subsequent regulatory efforts, FINRA estimates that there was uh, an aggregate short interest position in MMTLP in accounts held at broker-dealers as of December the 12th 
of approximately 2.65 million shares out of 165.47 million total shares outstanding, which is not a significant percentage, only 1.6% of the total shares outstanding. And guys, this is their official statement. But let me show you this document. We are on official Next Bridge Hydrocarbons uh, website, and here you can see the document that they published uh, on February 8th of 2024. It's titled Next Bridge Hydrocarbons uh, Releases Statement. And here's this statement. Let me quote you just one paragraph. We believe this information is necessary to help clarify potentially misleading information that has been disseminated to investors and the public. FINRA issued an Investor Insights FAQ on its website stating that there was an aggregate short interest position in MMTLP in accounts held at broker-dealers of as of December the 12th of approximately 2.65 million shares out of 165.47 million total shares outstanding. FINRA went on to characterize this volume as not significant. We infer no intent to mislead by FINRA. But we know that uh, this uh, statement was not qualified to make clear that uh, the scope of the data available to FINRA under the investigatory powers he cited was limited, and thus it implied uh, a categorical summation of uh, the entire uncovered short interest position in next bridge. Subsequent to our most recent press release uh, of January 19, 2024, calling for short interest data from all sources, foreign or domestic, whether registered with FINRA or not, we observed that FINRA clarified in its letter to Congressman Norman that the short interest figure he cited was only based on US member data and not that of domestic or foreign non-members entities that could act as custodians of agents holding securities for others, including foreign registered broker-dealers. However, it repeated its assertion that the short interest position it saw was nominal. Unfortunately, we believe that this is a consequential blind spot in FINRA's data, because foreign firms have approached next breach about uh, procuring more than 2.65 million shares. And guys, this official statement that was uh, filed with SEC clearly says uh, that uh, they use a FINRA use this loophole of transferring short positions abroad in order, so-called, not to see these short positions on their books. And this is how they can easily answer uh, under the oath in court uh, that they, the, short, uh, the short position is not significant in MMTLP shares. And uh, definitely, it is not the case, and uh, FINRA is closing their eyes not only on this uh, matter, but let me show you again, let me show you here, uh, let me remind you this uh, screenshot, uh, it, uh, it is the screenshot of uh, Timeless Team, where he had uh, a limit order for 1000 MMTLP shares for the price of $200,000, and this uh, order has a uh, uh, status too late to cancel and it was uh, filed on uh, December 11th of 2022. And guys, all this information leads to this extremely brave statement uh, from a uh, timeless team. Let me quote it for you in details. MMTLP, uh, next move real, not AI. Okay, here we go. Hope uh, this all reads okay. Since it now appears, uh, we may need an MMTLP hearing similar to GME in 2021, a hearing of similar proportions or bigger proportions. And if uh, this helps to show Congress the magnitude once again, in relation to other stock market events that required a hearing like GME, I created this comparison chart based on GME world investor Keith Gill, $48 million net worth at the highest uh, of GME rise. After seeing a summary on uh, his hearing experience at Investopedia, and I used myself using my real name, investment strategy, and FINRA fraud experience, uh, comparing my situation of how one single retiree investor's uh, opportunity in life was cancelled by FINRA and left uh, unfulfilled for a total of over 300 million US dollars. Also interesting to note, uh, my market reject orders that were not uh, too late to cancel orders with asks that had, uh, that had uh, less than uh, 
$200,000 a share price totaled another $300 million. Yes, I'm simply one of more than 65,000 investors in MMTLP who planned ahead before and upon retirement and now held up for uh, more than 490 days. There are many others in a similar situation, I know. Extremely sad that I feel I need to bring up my full disclosure like we should have gotten from our reg regulators by now. Hoping this may help further show a real big problem truly occurred uh, is ongoing and needs discussion and solutions soon. I as one uh, can only hope we as a team can make a difference. I'll start this uh, conversation by saying Honorable Ralph Norman and Representative James Connor, please also review this comparison. Many are like me in MMTLP. Uh, in less than 10 days, uh, 500 days of deception will be upon uh, US and all held up in MMTLP. Uh, please uh, set a date for resolution, so a repeat by inept uh, regulators has no chance for renewal. Thank you. And he added uh, this screenshot where he compares his own uh, uh, his own situation in MMTLP with the GameStop saga that happened back in 2021 and especially with Keith Jill case. And I, I have to admit that this is extremely brave step to disclose all this information. And shout out to Tim and shout out to his uh, brave family because he's a father of three children that he's done this uh, comparison. So, let me show you another quite interesting uh, information. Do you remember Charles Gasparini? And do you remember his efforts, uh, how he tried to push our case down? If you don't know who this person is, let me remind you that uh, he is the so-called author of uh, so Fox Business Network and he wrote an article in New York Post or in somewhere, I guess it was a uh, Wall Street Journal. It doesn't matter at this moment. And uh, he consistently tried uh, to push our case down. But guys, let me show you that he is completely silenced for quite a long period of time. You might wonder, why does it happen? And let me show you why. Here is uh, the uh, tweet uh, that uh, was published by Gary Bernstein on April the 5th. And in his uh, tweet, he explained that he filed a class action lawsuit against uh, Charles Gasparino. And let me show you this date, uh, April the 5th. And uh, he doesn't mention about his lawsuit. Uh, basically, he keeps silence because of uh, the uh, non-disclosure agreement. But at the same time, Charles Gasparina also doesn't post any uh, tweets uh, since April the 5th in regards to MMTLP. As you can see, uh, if you try to search MMTLP uh, ticker symbol from Charles Gasparina Twitter account, you will find uh, the latest one on April the 5th. So, he keeps silent uh, for more than, uh, for basically 10 days in a row. But previously, he was extremely active in regards uh, to the MMTLP case. And this is the pure evidence how we can push our case uh, forward, despite all the douchebags uh, who are trying to push our case down. And guys, uh, in general, uh, class action lawsuits uh, against this type of uh, uh, activity uh, are pretty much... Uh, a good tool but at the same time let me remind you that uh, we are approaching to the deadline of uh, the uh, in, of another uh, class uh, action lawsuit settlement let me quote to this deadline approaching regarding MMT, L MMT and TRCH settlement of class action see link below for more information and instructions to submit a claim file an objection uh, or to opt out and uh, here is uh, the deadlines you have to submit claim uh, before June the 5th, uh, request uh, exclusion uh, before April 23rd, and file objection before April 23rd as well. And uh, this uh, class action lawsuit uh, gives you an opportunity to receive uh, 1.5 cents to each and every share that uh, you hold on your books. And definitely it doesn't worth your attention. The only people who might be interested in this uh, settlement I would say uh, it is only two people or the people who has a lot of shares of MMTLP. And uh, let me show you this uh, screenshot. It is the approximate number of uh, shares that belong to John Burda. Uh, he has about 2 million shares and Greg McCabe. 
Guys, this information might be quite outdated because uh, this uh, uh, picture was published on uh, March 16, 2022. But with the approximate uh, number of uh, 17 million shares uh, on Greg McKay books and uh, 2 million shares on uh, John Burda's books, uh, you can uh, easily realize that Greg McCabe, uh, because of uh, this class action lawsuit, will receive uh, slightly above a quarter of a million dollars and John Burda will receive about $30,000 on top of uh, his uh, holdings. So, it is quite good uh, resolution for them, relatively good, not, not quite good, but it is a uh, uh, substantial, I would say, uh, remuneration for them. But uh, if you hold just 10, 50, 100, or even 1,000 shares on your books, it doesn't worth your attention. So, and let me show you the last uh, uh, news uh, for this video, but not the least. You know that just uh, several days ago I showed you that uh, Steph uh, Carpet M uh, wrote uh, the tweet and he asked uh, uh, Taylor Swift to help our community. And he is uh, extremely consistent. He is doing these tweets uh, on a daily basis. As you can see, this tweet was published uh, on April 14th, basically uh, just several hours ago. Then. He refers to his own tweet that he published on April 13, then on April the 12th, then April 11th. And guys, uh, this is the pure evidence how important uh, the consistency in our case, because uh, despite the extremely low chances uh, to see the resolution through the Taylor Swift help, but definitely, if we have just one chance uh, to have uh, this uh, settlement through this case, some of our community members might definitely use this path. And guys, how we all can help each other. Let me remind you that you can uh, uh, send uh, your letter to Congress. You can, uh, let me show you this uh, information. You can call your congressman's office uh, and ask uh, your representative to contact James Commerce office to express support for an MMGLP congressional hearing. And you can uh, do it by yourself or you can use uh, uh, this uh, form and all the information you can find, uh, let me show you, on mmchlpresources.com. Two latest uh, updates uh, on uh, April the 1st and April the 8th lead you to, will lead you to this information. And that is why, guys, uh, uh, we can uh, push our case forward on a daily basis, doing just uh, very tiny actions and doing just tiny steps uh, towards uh, our main goal. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MHLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna 